take time off for that, for that kind of treatment is, is, is hey, welcome Someone's to the channel. A few weeks. Oh. There are multiple medical conditions which people need to have time off. Uh, and the army, the services are perfectly capable of dealing with them if and when it arises as a well, thing. any other with um Hello, welcome. Right, as when, when I was young, you had to be tough, and you know. And it's just like because of the women thing. Women are coming into things and everything, and they're going to start moaning about everything, and they're not going to want to get. Are you asking me that question? Yeah, yeah I completely agree. It, it is all sex discrimination. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's more to do with the fact that this policy of automatically excluding people who have a family history of breast cancer, although it can affect men, is much more likely to affect women. And therefore, if they're adopting that policy, it's going to have a disproportionate impact on women. And as you know, you're well aware, Grant Shapps, the Defence Secretary, has said he sees female recruits as the solution for the recruitment crisis in the army. Oh, for market. God's sake. <laughs> it makes you, makes you even more surprised about this decision. Absolutely. As I say... <laughs> You've disillusioned the young white men so much you give to Karis, that you're going to start... A... Well, we've obviously been talking about this, um, you're going to get women and young women in the forces to go and fight. Well, they'll not be fighting, will they? Um, right, we're just, okay, what's going on here? Right. You're going in that space, okay then. Um, the Equality Act. I'm going too slow. I've got a big queue behind me. You see, I've gone out these 20 spots. I don't actually drive that fast. I just think that the whole... Oh, this yeah, twitty shit. Well, it's just a lot of pish. We don't need it. Nobody gives a fuck about it. The army can't um, redeem themselves by ringing me and apologising and um, offering me the job, basically. Um, so, yeah, but um, I do think I agree with the whole men thing. I think if it was a man and they had um, what history of breast cancer in their family, they wouldn't be asked to take the test or be in the same situation as me, or even though it's rare in that, yeah. it's still not fair. That was the thing that annoyed me when I went to the doctors in yeah. the borders. I got uh, yeah. a letter to go and get a, a mammary thing, you know, a check on my, my breasts. And this woman says, yeah. she told me pretty much that I don't have them. And she got all flustered and everything. It was a receptionist. She was incompetent as fuck. She was like overstepping her. She was putting her own feelings and in, in a. Oh my god. Um, where's this cunt going? <laughs> and um, she was kind of doing her own, what she wanted. And I had to complain because. Well, I mean, men can get breast cancer, but. Um, I actually do have breasts and. But then men have as well, so the whole, it was a sort of moot point, if you like. You know, it was all sort of null and void. Um, so there's the, the clothing getting taken away. Um, what happens, people, they, they come round and dump it all, just around about... I wonder if he's going to take all that that's, that's wet and everything. Great minds, someone says. Ill thing uh. was where I would like my ashes spreading. Looking up into the Yorkshire Dales from above the Cowan Calf Rocks. I'm blocking the road here, actually. Uh, and um, Amanda says, I live in Exeter. Could I actually park over there, right in front of it? Coast and countryside. Exeter Why not? Also has one of the oldest ship canals yeah. in the country, which was built in the 1560s. So it's, um... And has many green spaces. Um... Oh, the handbrake's working. Um, this is a bit of like men at work type thing, isn't it? Um, I've never actually seen what happens. Um, oh, he's got to go around all these. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if he comes from down south or something. Or has he got to Glasgow or something like that? I 
this was too bad a job, actually, when you think about it. Um, you know? I don't think so. I don't think it's too bad a job. Um, I don't think so. I need, to, I need to learn to start lying more. You know, like, come up with stories and say things. I, it's always been a bit of a problem for me. I think it's part of the Aspie thing. Wow. You know, it's part of the Aspie thing. They tend to tell... They, they don't really get the whole ins and outs of things, you know? Um... Oh, the fucking geriatric drivers. See the thing? What the fuck? The thing about it is that at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not in that, that, that sort of demographic, you know? So, <clears throat> a lot of them I think have just been shit drivers when they've been younger and they've just managed to live longer. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what's actually happened. International Photography Exhibition. Her interior fan is on constantly. Do you know what's causing it? Yeah, it's a rough start under the dash. They get damp. But I changed that in my, my C3. Even a idiot like me can do that repair. You know? So what's he doing? He's got to check out. Um... Just got to check out the um, check out the the rejects. This is actually quite uh, helpful for my, you know, my car boot thing. Is it how? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I think it's. Um, useful. Um, I've never actually seen this happening before. Um, ironically, no, not ironically. I reckon a lot of that was lying out in the rain. The weird thing is, when you... I, don't I think that would be quite a good job, actually. Um... And he's driving that van, so he's got to go away. What is it? It's a Renault Master. He's got to go away somewhere else. And um Go away... ...to... ...the next one. I wonder how many he does in a day. I wonder if he does that... You'd have to, I tell you nothing about that, maybe. I'm not, I'm not trying to be one of these weirdos, but would you have to watch you don't pick? You, you know, should really be wearing, like, yeah, you should really be wearing um, gloves or something, eh? That's what I'm getting at, sorry. Um, that's what I'm thinking, about gloves. Lee Lucas, are you an AI? You are programmed to tell us it fast directly. See that that's that's a joke, right? But that's happening now. The AI thing is happening. I wouldn't want to get in the wrong side of that guy actually. Um I think he looks quite well. Um 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want to get along with anyone, but, you know, some people you just... That's a mistake you can make. I suppose it's just an ancient thing that you would... Um, you would um, assess people. It's a survival thing for a while, isn't it? Uh, on their, you know, physical, like, you know, or maybe it's psychological. So you can make a mistake of trying to dominate somebody who looks weaker than you and is going to give you a kick in your ass. But like, so that guy, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even fucking go there, like, you know, it's like, oh, wow. But, um, I do, my social skills are pretty shit. It's good that, so, it's good that some people are able to tell you to get the fuck, you know. Despite all the bullshit laws and pish that, that they've foisted upon us, you know. I'm um, sitting here. Have they got cameras or not here? Mm, I don't know. Right, so it's just five minutes to eleven. Um. Do you need me here? Do you? Do you really need me here? It's funny. See, like, there's an opportunist guy just walked past there. Uh, he's got the phone and that, and he's got the... Um, he's got the tracksuit. And... What was it called? The Ned stuff. So there's a guy with a bag of clothes. He's just coming around. I mean, so he's got all the gear... But what you need, and this is the whole thing against the green green communism thing. Well, maybe in the cities, but what I'm talking about is in towns. Well, in the you generally need to be able to drive to function. Oh look at that! Oh look at that! Fucking hell! Look at that! Um, generally you need um to be able to function. In society, you <clears throat> Have I not... what the fuck am I talking about? Do you know this is going to take ages? Aye, in order to function society, you need um vehicle or be able to drive and that's so the green communists are trying to stop that so i'm i was just thinking about push bikes there in cities and things there is a, obviously a, a commerce involved with delivering pizzas and stuff just eat and doing all that type of thing um there is a lot of that that for no doubt at all well i think we're getting a little bit um, I think this has dragged on too long. Um, gonna have to get going. Oh, the guy, the guy who's dropped that shit off. Has got an electric car. Wow. Yes. Well, did you find that exciting? I certainly did. Somebody putting stuff. Oh, look, he's, he's fucking went. No, it's got two exhausts. You went right up on the pavement there to avoid that puddle. Um, I think we'll get going. Yeah. Oh, let this car in. Same time to earn the money to keep those eight children and as she wanted to do to keep her husband free from, you know, having to earn money. So he felt that mm. kind of very natural feeling that men did of, you know, I'm not earning the money and my wife is. And we'll stop 
Oh, yes. And, um, right, so that was exciting. Um, that guy. <laughs> yes. Right, um, so, oh, we've got plenty of parking spaces here. Um, there is a thing um, about. Oh, you think you're in fucking. Like. Um, This is sterling. Multiculturalism. Yeah. Brilliant. Love it. Love multiculturalism. Um. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!